Uh, welcome to the Harkin stand here at the r Suzuki Dinghy Show. We're joined by Hannah Mills and Sassy of Clark, 470 sailors for the British Sailing Team. Welcome ladies. Thank you. Could you tell us what it takes to become a member of the British Sailing Team? Uh, yeah, so uh, it's all about passion and commitment, uh, hard work obviously, uh, like anything uh, that you love, you have to put the time and the effort in to get where you want to be. Right. Um, and obviously we're super lucky that uh, that's sailing for us, that's sailing, and uh, we've uh, hopefully going to achieve our dreams this summer at the Olympics. Fantastic. Well, best of luck. And um, I know that you've got some Harkin hardware on your boat. And we're obviously here at the Harkin stand. Could you tell us um, where or what sort of hardware you have on the boat? Um, probably the block we use most frequently is a small little sort of 10, 15 mil control block. Oh, we, right, yeah. We use it on all our control lines. Uh, mostly because it's lightweight, uh, it does the job really well for the loads that are going through it. Oh, it's just kind of a simple piece of equipment that uh, does its job really well. Great stuff. And, and do, do you have any advice for maintaining your hardware and keeping it race ready? Because obviously that is essential for you guys. Hands, <laughs> hands, hands chief cleaner. I'm chief That's your job. Proposer. <laughs> Uh, I, I think to be honest for us uh, it's definitely just about being as thorough as you can when you wash the boat down after you go sailing um, okay. and just every time you wash the boat down you do each individual block open and close it if it's a cleat um, put the hose on it just make sure the salt uh, as much as possible gets out of it lovely that's so nice to hear because that's actually what we try and get ah. people to do so thank you for it's like going that. The <laughs> um, and on another aspect how is your fitness regime and your diet how strict is that for your training um, it sort of changes in cycles really, depending on the, ven the venue that our peak regatta is. You know, we might manipulate our weight uh, okay. to be more if it's windy venue or you know lighter. Uh, so in the China Olympics, for example, we were all sort of rolling five, ten kilos lighter than our sort of race, normal oh, race wow. weight. Uh, so that's a big bit about diet and fitness. Um, you know, we're all professional athletes now, so it's a big part of what we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely the, the new classes that got introduced this cycle, yeah. and also some rule changes that happened in the 470 have made it a lot more physical, you know, a lot more athletic as well. Yeah. The strength is really important, though. Yeah. A lot of time in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what sets the 470 apart from other dinghies that you've sailed in the past? We actually probably, as a pair, haven't raced a huge amount of dinghies. Like we both came through Oppies, I then did lasers, handed for 20s, and then we okay. ended up in the 70s. So okay. I haven't got a great uh, <laughs> comparison, but uh, I think it's a great uh, it's a great mix uh, of all the sort of skills for sailing. Yeah. For the lighter stuff is displacement sailing, um, you know, slow racing, decision making, time to make decisions, tactical racing, and then as the wind increases, it becomes a really physical, fast planing boat and yeah. you get sort of all the enjoyment of that kind of racing. Fantastic. Um, what is your, obviously you, you guys have won medals around the world, um, what is your advice for, for being a team and working together? Obviously you get put together, you have to race with each other, you have to get on. What is your um, advice behind teamwork? I think um, respect is a massive part of it. You know, you, you sail with someone else and you have to respect what they bring to the boat and what they can do, um, what they offer and I think that's sort of the basis of every good partnership is that you respect that they can do their role as well as as well as they can, you know, and that they're there to win as you are or yeah. to do as well as they can and, and no one's there to just mess around and try and do badly, you know, so yeah. it's just understanding that. Um, and trusting each other and knowing that if you make that exactly. mistake that it you know, you support each other through that. Yeah, yeah. no one makes a mistake on purpose. You know? Exactly. So, yeah, teamwork and, and being friends at the end of the day is quite important. Definitely. <laughs> and if there's, there's obviously people out there who would love to be in your shoes, they'd love to be 470 sailors for the British sailing team, what would you say to someone who is working their way up and wants to get where you are? Um, I think the sort of first step is just to be a bit brave and you know, go for it. Uh, sort of both Han and I have taken time out of university or not gone to university and yeah. you know, those kind of things to make it happen for us. And uh, you need to be really committed and really want what you're doing because you know lots of people do want to be have their childhood dream as their career and we've been lucky enough to make it happen. And you have to be brave. And, and then, like as Han said at the beginning, committed to what you're doing and trying yeah. to achieve. Dedication yeah. is the key. I think also make sure you get advice from people. You know, don't. Don't be scared to ask people's opinions that you respect. Like we, we always feel like we don't get approached enough by the younger sailors, maybe because they're shy or not confident enough. Aww. And you know, we'd love to sort of talk to them and offer advice and stuff. 
sauce especially, he's done it for a while. <laughs> uh, but you know, we've both done it for a while and we've got uh, definitely some advice on the transition uh, between youth sailing and Olympic sailing. So basically get out there and ask the questions yeah, and speak to as many people as you can, be learn proactive. and be dedicated. Yeah. That's the key yeah. to being on the British sailing team. There you go. <laughs> well ladies, from everyone at Harkin, best of luck. We are behind you all the way. Thank you. So, Thank you very um, much. We look forward to seeing you out there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.